not a nude beach, but it, the knot is kind of, you know, so it's a nude beach. This is your sign, Jacob. So we're we crossing in a high tide, that's the question. I mean, shoes on. Why didn't you tell me? We got some information from a local yesterday, so today we're going off the beaten path. We just made it to the end of this road and now we need to walk through the barricades. I don't think we're gonna be flying the drone today. There's fighter jets going all around. But we're in uh, Geiger Key and we're on our way to Geiger Beach. And so we have to hike in an area that doesn't look so good and then we'll get to an area that's supposed to look really cool. That's the plan. It's gotta be like over 100 degrees today with humidity. It's a hot one. This is cool driftwood. I'm not sure if like we should keep going, cause we found it. But then there's stuff like this. We just ran into the hippie fort, which apparently like people will come and like leave sticks or rocks and stuff like that here. Let's go check it out. We made it. So people bring rocks up here and they add to the fort. So this is not what one person has done. This is the collective uh, community of people. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a little hippie. I don't know if it's hippie, but it's a little fort on the side of an Air Force base. Yep. A little eclectic. There. I'm pretty sure that this is one of the boats from Cuba. This is what's called a chugger. So these, this is a man-made boat from Cuba where they put in a car engine, put a couple, uh, looks like this is just like aluminum or something, I don't know, maybe this could be wood even. And a couple floaters here. And so this is uh, what some Cubans have used to get here. All right. Crazy, huh? So we were told that this actually happens pretty often here in the Keys. Like Miami, Keys, um, which is pretty crazy. But it's nice to see a boat mostly intact. It looks like it's a little old. You know, some of the, merit, the metal's kind of missing. Oh yeah, you can totally see through the boat. Yeah, wow, crazy. So we've reached water. This isn't the end of the trail, right? That is a... Are we crossing this? Watch your step, you might sink. Wait, we're not crossing this, are we? I don't know. Maybe that's why they're nudists, because they, they cross this. Bloody. Alright, I'm going to go explore. Definitely exists. Question is, can we get there now? Because there's a path like this but shorter, deeper, and faster. Shorter, deeper, faster. Shorter is good. Shorter is good, not the other two. <laughs> We're checking the tides because uh, it's high tide. 12, 11 p.m. Yeah, so low tide's at 7.45. So it's already at high tide. Okay, so it's, that's why it's, it's so going underground. down. Yeah. So it's oh, going it's down going right down. now. Yeah. Okay. So we're trying to consider if we should cross the waterways now. Yes. I was gonna say, it was a lot better to cross this with shoes. Cause that kinda hurt. Okay. Tell me, how was that crossing? Oh, did you uh, did fear you for your life? Totally, like, I, I, I thought my pants were gonna come off. <laughs>
Yeah, you know, I think he lost his pants. I almost <laughs> did. So I didn't want that to happen. They don't come in nudist, they leave nudist. <laughs> and we have approached trial number two. Whoa, okay. There we go. What's going to the mind of Jennifer? Well, mate, sounds like uh, my partner, you know, just like doesn't give a blow about anything here. He's just like, uh, just go for it, mate. <laughs> Shove it right. I'm just gonna send it. Yeah, a bit. Well, it is deep and it's fast, but it's all right. It's all you. <laughs> well, that's one way to go down. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got drifted out to sea, but uh, I got you. <laughs> Wow, look at that, look at that beach though. That is just spectacular. So this is the longest stretch of sand beach in the Keys. The person who told me about this said, first off, it's really cool and it's really secluded, which it has been. Second off, there's also like a nudist beach over here. So uh, check, we saw some of that. Uh, not very willingly, but you know. We came here, and third off, there's supposed to be a good amount of homeless people that live here, so this might be like I mean, a pretty nice spot to get away, really. So we were just chilling for a couple hours, Laying at the beach, it's so beautiful. Went for a swim, didn't see anything, but uh, it's nice out here. Recommend coming out here if you have a car. Um, we were lucky to have a car today. Stranger lent us their car. Chad, if you're watching this, thank you. You're a real G. We made it back, both treacherous rivers. And now we are on the, I think this used to be part of the runway or a smaller runway, or a road. It's kind of got road signs on it. But uh, this is the first part of the trail. That was a super fun day. We are so grateful that Chad allowed us to borrow his car. And now we're about to go return it, take showers, and go find something to eat. It was a fantastic day exploring some sites off the beaten path and we had a blast. Do you have good vision? No, you wear glasses, right? I have zoom. Well, but do you, oh yeah, you can just zoom on. There could be a snake. Yeah, yeah there could be. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Jake, sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but can we just not talk about that right now? <laughs> Hello, TV land. I'm just ruining the... Uh... Peace. Peace. Love and happiness. And safe travels. <laughs>